Honey Heart C. Mini fans, are you ready to do some water coloring today? Woo, we're gonna color some more in this awesome, awesome briar. My dream horse watercolor painting. <laughs> okay, this book comes with everything you need to create your own little horse masterpieces. And we are gonna be painting one of these pictures. Woo. Oh, what about this cute little pony with this little rooster right here? Okay, I'm just gonna rip it on out of here. Now, what's super cool about this is it actually comes with your paint palette attached right to the page. Uh-huh, this is the watercolors right here. How cool is that? Just right on the paper. So I'm just gonna cut it off. <laughs> it's just so cool because this little thin, thin, thin paper is actually your paint. So I think that's so cool. All right, so we've got a very, very happy, happy, happy looking pony here. So we just need a little bit of some water to do the water coloring. Dip my paintbrush in, get it a little bit wet. Now I'm gonna dip it on the blue here and just by adding water, it's gonna activate the paint. And check it out. Ah! There we go. So I'm gonna paint a pretty blue sky in the background because this pony is out in the pasture. Do -do 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 -do. Paint around the rooster. Do -do 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 -do. All around the pony. Do -do 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 -do. Dip in some water. Now I'm gonna use the green to create some of the tree greenery all around the pony. And I'm gonna keep it nice and light next to the pony. So I have a lot of water on my paintbrush. Oh no, it looks like it dripped green right there. Oh no. Just dab it up, dab it up, dab it up. Now I'm not gonna add as much water to my brush and I'm mostly gonna suck up more color onto my paintbrush. So this should be really dark green. Uh-huh, there we go. So it's a lot darker. So now I can really get those trees painted in. Dark, 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 dark. Go around the pony's hoof. And go back in with some of my darker green. Make these bushes just really stand out. The green added in there. Oh, can't forget about the tree. Ah, I'm almost out of green. Have enough to paint the tree. Used about all of the green up. Oh, oh, oh! Let's paint the rooster. So get some brown on my paintbrush. Paint in the rooster. Yee! Since we have the brown wet, I'll just paint the tree too. I'm gonna paint all the branches. I think I'll leave the fence posts white, like a really pretty white horse fence, but I will do a really, really soft, subtle brown on it. So I'm taking a lot of water after dipping it in the brown, so it almost barely, barely has a color. There we go. Just so it doesn't look completely like it doesn't have any color. There we go. Oop, too much color, no! Add more water. Well, I think it ended up being a touch darker than I wanted, but that still looks really good. So I'm gonna give the rooster some yellow little leggies. Yellow legs. And beak. Do an orange neck. And we'll use red on his little comb. Oop. There we go. Now the pony needs some color on her. So I think we need to add a punch of color to this picture by using yellow. So suck up all of that color. There we go, this will add so much color into the picture. To see a bright little happy yellow pony waiting at the gate. She looks like she's looking out thinking like, ooh, what's going on for today? I bet she's so excited to come out of the pasture. Maybe go for a ride or get brushed or eat an apple or hang out with other horses since horses and ponies are super duper social. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, for her mane, I'm gonna give her orange mane. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. I think she looks super cute. With these little spots on her, she was probably supposed to be maybe an Appaloosa or maybe those are supposed to be like dapples or something. But I think she looks just as cute as a super sunny yellow pony. There we go. And her tail. Use a little bit of some brown for her hooves. And to just add a little touch of color to her nose, let's mix in just a tiny, tiny, teeny bit of red. Do, do, do. Whoop, too much. Add some water. There we go. 
Oh, it adds like a little bit of pinking to her nose. It's so cute. Maybe I can add a little bit more yellow to her mane and tail and kind of lighten it up just a little bit. The picture is completed. Okay, I love everything about it. I love how super happy that pony looks. She looks so excited. And I love how the colors just totally blended in, like with her hooves and in the grass here. Ah, ah, ah. The rooster looks really happy too, just crowing away. All right, I super love these little watercolor things. I think it just makes everything look just totally cool. You really kind of can't go wrong with this. Ooh, and I cannot wait to paint some more pictures inside of this Briar book. Yay, yay. I hope you mini fans enjoyed this video. Look at life with excitement just like this little pony is. And watercolor your way into my next video. I will see you there. Bye, mini fans. I love this watercolor. Very cool. Huh. But this gummy bear was on the painting. But where was it? Was it by the pony? In the tree? Or by the rooster? Where was this gummy bear hiding just for a second? Yeah.